With little knowledge, insight, and an undiscovered interest for cybersecurity, I was perplexed on where to start, what I needed to know, and what kind of position I wanted to fulfill in cybersecurity. Hi everyone, my name is Grant Collins, author at Cyber Intern Academy, and an inspiring cybersecurity professional. Today, I wanna to help inform you on why I recommend this complete cybersecurity course to all students who are looking to develop a career in cybersecurity, who are interested in a career in cybersecurity, but have no idea where to start. Let's get started. Before we get started on this review, I wanna go ahead and ask you a few questions as a student who's looking into a career in cybersecurity. First, what has sparked a potential interest regarding cybersecurity as a career? What about cybersecurity entices you or sparks interest? Are you wanting to understand what cybersecurity is about, what cybersecurity demands in terms of knowledge, and where you can fulfill a specific job within the industry. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then the complete cybersecurity course may just be for you. Now that's a corny statement right there. This course might just be for you. All you have to do is check mark these three boxes and you can buy my product for $19.99. As you can tell, my clever methods of persuading you to buy the complete cybersecurity course aren't always the best. But I make fun of myself, so so keep that keep that in mind. In all seriousness, if you've answered uh, yes to any of these questions, I'm gonna go ahead and break down why you should use the complete cybersecurity course. I really do believe that the three questions that I just asked uh, right there are really important for you uh, as a student in cybersecurity. So here's why the over here's the overall statement, the overall verdict to why you should develop, not develop you should buy the complete cybersecurity course. This complete cybersecurity course provides a fundamental base behind cybersecurity in terms of technical knowledge. Um, this course produces and introduces the underlying concepts behind cybersecurity, in important dynamics at the beginning stages of developing a cybersecurity career. Before you invest in any formal qualification, whether that be a degree, an IT certification, or a boot camp of some sort, training, uh, whether that be online or in person, and exert a whole bunch of effort in your time, which could take anywhere from months to years. I recommend students start out with understanding even if cybersecurity is right for them. Is it a career that they really want to pursue? And are they really interested in a career in cybersecurity? Oftentimes you can become blind following specific guidelines and standards of just standardly going to college or going to a certain program and hoping that we find an interest in what we are pursuing. This course is broken up into four volumes, starting from volume one, Hackers Exposed, and ending with volume four, Endpoint Protection. Let me briefly describe each volume, starting with volume one, Hackers Exposed. In this volume, you will learn about why cybersecurity is necessary and vital to the development in the online world. Nathan brings you the mindset of a hacker, why they hack, what tactics they use, and offenses they need in order to stay above the average online user. Volume two, network security. In this volume, you will learn and introduced about the learning network architectures, hacking techniques, attacks, monitoring, and defenses. Nathan starts with the home router, the network infrastructure that's common around our homes, buildings, coffee shops, and works into his way of developing knowledge into firewalls and transitioning into search engines and browsers. Volume three, anonymous browsing. In this volume, you learn about how to keep an anonymous profile online as the title suggests. Then the most interesting part within the course is introduced, how to establish and maintain an anonymous online profile through technologies like Tor, VPNs, proxies, SSH, and John Donham. And finally, to complete the cybersecurity course, we have volume four, endpoint protection. In this volume, you learn about endpoint protection frameworks, starting from computers and leaning into different types of security compliances regarding the protection of any endpoint. So all four volumes consist of the complete cybersecurity course. This series of volumes took me two and a half months to complete, learning around an average of an hour per day at 1.5 X speed. Overall, the series helped me understand the basics, the underlying fundamentals behind cybersecurity, meaning in a technical terms. 
additional concepts I was learning were insights and ideas and concepts into cybersecurity itself and what I need to know to advance into niches, into civic positions uh, within cybersecurity. Students looking to gain a better knowledge, a better perspective, a better insight into the industry itself. This course really goes from beginner having zero knowledge, entering and leaving endpoint protection, the fourth volume, with at least an understanding behind what cybersecurity means and what it details. Where can you find the overall course and the volumes uh, themselves? I recommend stationx.net. The author of these courses has produced a website called stationx.net. It is his company. And on stationx, there are more than 70 bundles or 70 courses and including course bundles uh, where you can learn and you can advance your learning curriculum. For all four volumes, as of right now, the price is $65. Compared to courses in its class, if that's even a thing, I'm kind of comparing the cards in a way. Now the complete cybersecurity course itself is $65, including all volumes. Here at Cyber Intern Academy, we provide authenticity, meaning I'm not just trying to sell you a crap course to get some money from you. Uh, I provide the positives and the negatives, so let's get started with the positives. The positives include uh, 50 hours of content for all volumes combined. Uh, there's a qualified author, Nathan House. He has multiple certifications. He has a degree. He is uh, over 20 years with this stationx.net. Uh, he's extremely qualified. He's an engaging author who cares about students and their learning experiences. If you have email, uh, if you have a question, you can ask them over email. It's affordable. The course is organized. Uh, it, it suits all knowledge levels, but it's best for novices. It has great visuals, graphics, statistics, text uh, throughout the videos, so it's not dry content. Includes extra URL links to for two and four researching, and is broken down into chunks, uh, volumes. Okay, so we know the positives, but what about the negatives? What are some negatives of this course? Well, it's complex at times. Uh, little user engagement activities like tests, quizzes, flashcards, which can be hard uh, for a problem that I'm going to mention in a minute. Some software programs introduced are outdated or they're discontinued. Um, some research URLs and programs uh, can be a different subtopic themselves, like have their own courses. And the biggest issue I found with uh, the complete cybersecurity course uh, was learning retention. For instance, since there wasn't quizzes, tests, and flashcards, going back and learning about certain concepts that I've completely forgotten uh, were really challenging. And so learning retention was the biggest problem. And to solve this problem, I had to really take comprehensive notes and go back every single day to what I learned the day previous and kind of retain what I was and recall and retain what I was learning from uh, the day previous. In order to get the best value out of this course, I recommend you do a few things. First, you take notes. You go over the previous sections. You write a review at the end of each volume or at the end of the complete cybersecurity course. You research the topics that uh, Nathan provides in the description links uh, throughout the, the, the videos themselves. And you take your own time and be consistent. Something I don't see students, and I'm guilty of this myself, is being consistent in the process. They'll start a course, they'll start volume one, they'll get 15% of the way done, they'll be done. No, you have to be consistent. Like I said, I learn an hour per day on average. I recommend you just start with an hour per day. If you want to find more, if you want to find out how much time I spend on cybersecurity, I will link a video in the cards. Go ahead and click that. Why am I standing behind uh, a case of golf balls? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to be a little bit cinematic here with my shots. But is the complete cybersecurity worth it? With Worth the money and really honestly worth the time with 50 hours of content? The answer is no, it's not worth it. No, in all seriousness, of course it's worth it. If I'm recommending it uh, for any student, I definitely recommend you check out 
the complete cybersecurity course. It's really helped me understand the fundamentals behind cybersecurity and really niche down, as I like to call it, into a profession, into specific positions that I want to uh, look for in a cybersecurity career. If you did find this review useful, I'm glad you found it useful. If you found it comical, let me know. I, I know that this is probably not the best. Links are in the description below to buy this course. In all honesty, it is, they are affiliate links. Uh, in order to keep Cyber Intern Academy up and running, I do need some funds uh, for the, the content that I'm producing. So there is affiliate links down below in all honesty. I want to keep that as genuine and transparent as possible. Hope you guys found this informational. Keep scrolling down to read the rest of the review and have a good day.